how do we reset the mood so it's all about managing the in between when you are at a certain level what makes the difference between failure and success is not your skill it's your mental toughness let's say you have one meeting at 10 o'clock with a customer goes badly you have messed up customer not happy that meeting finishes at 10:20 and you are in a really bad mood and you are meeting another customer at 10:30 how is that second meeting going to go would that be good it won't because we are in a bad mood right so our mood is going to be contagious second meeting also it won't go well right how do we reset our mind in between that's called managing the in betweens what if every day when you go home say you have a hard day at work yeah by the way most of us are working all of us are working because we want to take care of our families right yes but sometimes our families get the worst of us <laughs> so what if before actually entering the house if you go stay in your car reset your emotions and walk in or what if you get reset before you leave office so you have a peaceful drive also what if you have a bad drive on the way to work and you stay in your reset before you walk into the department you can reset between meetings It just takes a few seconds this learning of how to reset your mind comes from the game of tennis this guy jim lower is the mental coach of people like pete sampras monica seles and aran chatanchas vicario and so many others now these were all world number one tennis players in their day right and other sports as well he is their mental toughness coach he won't teach them how to hit the racket the, the, the ball mental toughness and when you are at a certain level what makes the difference between failure and success is not your skill it's your mental toughness think of the world cup and all the players playing in all the teams actually all, all almost all at the same level of skill <laughs> why do some win and some lose mental toughness yeah so what jim uh, lower realized was they win the tennis match not actually when they are hitting the ball but depending on what they do between serves <laughs> I I got getting this between serves. Now if I I serve and I win the point does winning this point have any impact on whether I win the next point or not? Yes or no? No. If I lose this point does it mean I'm going to lose the next point? No, you start from scratch again. <laughs> so I win one point, service is over. Now someone needs to serve again. Brand new start. Absolutely no no impact. But if I win one point Sometimes I'm so overconfident now, I will go and mess up the second point, right? If I lose this point, I might be so down that I'll lose the next point also. Have you noticed far bowlers? If they bowl one wide, invariably next ball is also wide. <laughs> if they haven't reset. So same way, if we take our mental state into the next meeting without knowing what this mental state is, we are unknowingly affecting the outcome of the next occurrence. it can be a meeting it can be a chat it can be a appraisal it can be a sales call it can be going home a chat with your wife or children whatever it is